and welcome to another of Anna's Funky Art videos. These are a series of free videos that I'm currently um, putting together to help all of you to get through this social isolation that we're currently um, finding ourselves in. It's a really, really difficult situation. I don't know about you, I don't know what your circumstances are, um, whether or not you're living alone or whether you, you're living with family or friends, but whatever your circumstances, there's going to be difficulties. And what I find is that artwork and being creative have really helped me just to reground myself and and put myself back into the present moment. I think a lot of the time there's a danger of our minds kind of wandering and thinking about things we can't do and things that we can't have or projecting in the future and saying you know when this is over this is what I want to do and actually right now it's the present moment that is important and it's the present moment that we're living in and it's the present moment that is going to get us through this and it's how we respond to our situation and we do have a choice and I find that when I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it all just to sit down and do some art and craft really helps me to to refocus myself and to realize that actually yes there are some good things that can come out of this so I'm really hoping that these videos will help you with that too. Um, I'm here in my art studio. You can see behind me some of my artworks. If there's any there that really catch your eye and you think, oh, I like that, most of those ones are actually for sale on my website, annasfunkyart.co.uk. So please go and have a visit. There's lots of other things um, that are on my website as well. I do all, make all sorts of things. I make um, bookmarks and coasters, clocks, uh, all sorts. So um, do go and have a look, have a little browse and, um, and enjoy looking. So what we're going to do today is make our very own paper flower. Now this is one that I showed you on my last video when I was teaching you how to decoupage pots and we made a whole um, series of different little decoupaged pots to put things in. These are just literally glass jars. I think this was a salsa jar. I'm really enjoying at the moment um, nachos with hot salsa dip and guacamole. Oh it's the best. Um, I don't know whether you've got any kind of isolation foods that you're really craving and enjoying but that's mine so I've got a lot of salsa pots at the moment. Um, this bottle it was from um, a chili sauce as well that I really really like. So we're going to make this paper flower today and to make it you need um, just a few things. You need a pencil. Now, the pencil's not just for drawing. You'll see the pencil comes in useful. It's got about three or four different uses for this project, which is great. Um, if you want, you can use a ruler, but you don't have to. Um, some old paper. Now, what I've got here is uh, an old um, manuscript book, so music paper. And I think music is, is really beautiful. Um, music is another thing that, that can help you through this difficult time uh, the other thing that I made um, yesterday was one here out of maps and I absolutely love old maps this is actually one I think from uh, it's, I think it's a map of Sweden I'm pretty sure it's the colors in it though are absolutely gorgeous all the turquoises which blend beautifully with the reds and the yellows and then you've got all these lovely kind of golden browns so you can make these flowers out of any scrap paper that you've got. You can make them out of magazines, you could make them out of newspaper, you can make them out of all that really irritating junk mail that's coming through your door still. Honestly, um, why they're making the postman still deliver junk mail, I do not know, but it's still coming through my door. So if you've got junk mail, make it into a flower, make it into something really beautiful. Um, so yes, yeah, so you need a pencil, a ruler, some paper. The other equipment that you will need is a hot glue gun. These you can still order online and places like Amazon, eBay, The Works, um, The Range, places like that all sell hot glue guns. You will use probably about two of these sticks on this project, maybe one and a half, but make sure that you've got at least two of these glue sticks. And again, you can buy these in um, refill packets. This is a pack of 12. So it that's really, I think, the only thing you're going to need to buy if you don't already have a glue gun. Um, what else do you need? Oh, you need some scissors. <laughs> That's always very useful for the cutting part. And 
you need uh, oh, uh, just a piece of white paper or cardboard that you can create your templates out of. So you're going to need to make template petals. Now I've got, I've, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera down now so that you can actually see what I'm doing. I think that would be easier right now. So let's just adjust that. There we are. Move those out of the way. So let me show you what I've got. I've made these templates, let me turn them that way over, I've got the measurements on the other side so I can tell you the approximate measurements, but you've got, you just need one of these, it's the smallest one, and it's about two centimetres across and three and a half to four centimetres um, long, okay, so that's the first one, and then this one, I'll just hold it up there so you can get an idea of the shape, Okay, you need about five of these and the measurements for these are three centimetres across and four centimetres down. And the next one, you, you'll see a pattern here. This one is four centimetres across. So you've gone from two to three to four um, and I bet you can guess five, six and seven. <laughs> um, and now we've just, we've lengthened this slightly. So this one is now five centimetres. The first two are about four centimetres. This one is five centimetres in length. This one is more now a heart shape. The others were just kind of ovals. This is more a heart shape and you'll need about seven of these. And these are about five centimeters um, across and five centimeters down. So you've gone from two, three, four, and now five centimeters. And then this one is also a heart shape, slightly bigger. This one is six by six and you'll need about seven of those and this one is about seven centimetres by seven centimetres and you'll need about five to seven of those. I always, I'm always more generous with these numbers, so you need seven of these petals. Um, I think on the map one that I used yesterday, let me just check, I think I used five, but that's okay. I've got some petals that are left over. Yeah, I did because there are the... There are the two that are left over, um, but that's absolutely fine because what I'll do is I'll use these petals um, or these pieces of paper in another project, maybe in some journaling or scrapbooking or maybe a collage, something like that. I'll still use that paper, so I'm not going to throw it away. Um, so what you need to do is take your papers. Now, if you've just got plain white paper to make your flower, what you can do is get a sponge with a little bit of paint on it. It doesn't matter what kind of paint it is. Really, just use what you've got in your house, okay? And you can just sponge along the edges of um, around the petals or just sponge across the paper and give it another kind of colour. So you can, you can really get creative. You don't have to... Um, stick with the same thing now I'm all for cutting corners I like to cut corners and um, make it as easy for myself as possible so what I've got here are two pieces of paper that I'm going to just put on top of each other and I'm going to draw around the stencils that I've made so this is the first one and as you can see because I've double layered it, I'm actually going to get two of those even though I've only said I need one and that's fine it's good to have spare and these, I've said I need five, but because I've doubled it, I'm going to draw around this three times and get six. It's, you know, you may use them, you may not. It really just depends on how big a rose that you want. Because so I'm thinking these probably, these, these look like roses to me. I'm going with that. Um, again, this one I want five of, so I'm going to draw around this three times. And you can see... That as I'm drawing, I'm actually turning the petals round so that because the paper has a pattern on it, I'm not going to get the same pattern each time. I don't want all the music notes going the same way. For me, that just looks way too even. Now, I'm not going to be able to get my last one on this double paper. So what I'll do is I'll start to cut round. And I'm not going to cut perfectly. I'm not going to be really fussy about it because... Flower petals are not perfect. They're not all exactly the same. Some of them will um, have little pieces that are damaged. They, We need it to look as natural as possible. If everything is perfect and all of the patterns are lined up, for me, it just doesn't work. It's just not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put my small pieces over here. 
that's the next size up and you can see there look that the patterns are different and I really love that I think it looks great so I'm going to keep cutting let me just just to make it a bit easier to cut I'll cut those pieces off and then round we go and you can actually twist the paper around and just slowly move your scissors and that's a really easy way to cut rather than chop 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 all the way around you can just glide your scissors round like that and what I do is I also use this part of the scissor to cut this is the part that it seems to be sharpest so that's where I do most of my cutting so I've got six of those petals two of those and I want about five of these but the paper wasn't exactly working because these are just scraps of paper that I'm using so I'll cut out two of those two and then I'm going to move that one to there and cut out two of those There we are, those there, and then I probably, let's see if I can draw, oh yeah, perfect, I can still fit those on one, let's turn that round, just get all those lovely musical notes in, two, there we are, so I'm just going to cut those ones now, just glide my scissors round. Now here I'm going to use fold my paper because I think yes I should be able to get two of these on here I'll turn it over and now I'm going to get six petals and I only have to cut twice so for me that is a good result <laughs> And six of those petals. Now I've just got these two to cut. Let's get my templates out of the way. Fold that in half.
we've now got all of our petals together. This is the central petal. This is the very centre piece, um, which is going to be this little tiny curl right in the middle. Can you see that one there? That's what this centre piece is going to be. So for this one, all you need to do is you can use your pencil and just roll that round long, long way so you start to get that curl in it and you're going to just curl it like that okay so that these two little pieces here um actually meet and then just press it and leave it just there for now okay this is the point where you need to turn on your hot glue gun okay you don't um with hot glue guns you do need to be very careful that you can burn yourself with these this is why i've marked this video as age um 10 plus really unless you you know your child is okay to sit and watch you do the gluing i wouldn't recommend it because your fingers do get very close to the glue for this particular project so this is when you want to turn your hot glue gun on and most of them will come with a little stand so you can stand it up like that can you see and um then it's not going to come in contact with the table because the body of the glue gun oops sorry i just disappeared then the body of the glue gun does get um a little bit hot as well sometimes so with these petals the second size up your three centimeter ones you just want to start rolling them round the pencil long ways like that okay so this is this is the second use of the pencil. I told you it's going to come in very useful. It's really good for rolling your petals. And this is just um, how we start to give our flower its shape. If you have a look at the flowers, they're beautiful and they're, the petals are naturally curve, curling over. So I'll show you how to do that and how to shape the petals. Um, and it's a really good idea to get that part done before you start gluing. Otherwise, um, you can get in a... In a bit of a muddle so that's those ones rolled now these ones are going to be slightly different we're onto the four centimeter petals now and what you want to do is you want to just pinch the thin side so you're going to pinch it together like that okay so you've got a little tiny fold in there and then the top part where you've pinched it coming in this way you then want to roll it outward, so you're going to roll over like that. So you've got the pinch there, and you've got the roll on the pencil there. And that is what your petal should then look like. Whoops, <laughs> and it's fallen off. But that's the kind of shape that you're going for for your petal. Okay, so I'll show you that again. So you pinch there in the middle, and then with the outer part of the petal, you roll it back over the pencil and then give it another little pinch and take it off and your petal is is done okay so you do that for all of the petals i quite like this part i find this part quite relaxing <laughs> before you get to the glue <laughs> And with magazines, if you're doing this with magazines or maps, you may want to have a look at the at the colours that you've got. For example, on this petal I've used on the map, I'm thinking which one is going to look nicer on the outside. And I think I've decided by the looks of this one that I was going to roll it that way. So that you've got the blue here and then you've got this lovely um, beigey brown colour here. So you may want to have, oh, this one's lovely. It's got the kind of the pale colour here and then you've got the green of the land there. So maybe I'd curl it that way. So if you're using magazines which have got colours on, think about the colour and how you want to construct it. And when you're putting it together, you see here I've got these lines on the map, but I haven't put them all in the same place. I've spread them around the flower so that it still looks kind of natural and pretty. And I've spaced the blue of the sea all the way round 
so that it's not all just in one place I think if I had all blue here and then all stripes here it, it would just look odd so think about that when you're putting it together with the manuscript or music paper you don't need to do that so much because it's all pretty much the same color <laughs> it's all the same color so um so we've curled these lot of petals and you're literally going to carry on doing the same thing pinch and curl with your heart shaped petals and then pinch and curl with the large petals so I'm going to carry on with this and uh, give you a little bit of music now So I've curled all the petals. A couple of the outside petals have actually ripped, but I'm okay with that because on roses, I find that quite often the petals have ripped a little bit. And so it's gonna give it a really nice natural look. I'm not going to um, throw those away and start again. I'm gonna try and incorporate those into my flower. So this is where the fun begins. Make sure you've still got your pencil. It's going to save your fingers from getting burnt. Okay, this is the fun. So we've got our central, oops, we've got our central curled piece here. And what we're going to do, each time we place a petal on, we're going to place it just around, actually now I've done this, these are a little bit big, all of them. So I'm going to just adjust these, I'll show you. 
they're just a little bit big so I'm just going to slot, slot them together and just cut about half a centimeter off there we are right so let me just measure those again so I give you the right four centimeters so this one was three and a half these need to be four and then you're on to five centimeters in length okay so three four five generally it just goes up a centimeter each time so that's better now you can see that the the inside piece is not going to be too hidden once those curl around so you want to position the inside piece upside down like that and then this is where it's going to get a bit hot so you blob the hot glue just a small amount let me show you that just a small little amount and then you pop your piece on there and you just curl those two pieces over and you're going to need to get another piece of sorry another blob of glue let me just get that in the right hand um and just pop that there now you can use the stand of the hot glue to push it down i would not recommend putting your fingers there <laughs> right now because it is hot okay um and then what you've got is oops now you can put your fingers there now what you've got is the first little centerpiece you then take the next one and can you see where these two pieces are folded over you'll place the other one just around there so that you're going to you're going to cover up the fold each time okay so you pop another little bit of hot glue in there on your either side and then you can start to roll it up and again if you need to press you can use your pencil just to press where the hot glue is so you don't burn your fingers okay so you can see there now we've got the very center piece of the rose this is where it gets exciting now the next three pieces that you put on you put the center piece and you've put two petals the next three you want them a little bit looser kind of like that okay so you want to start loosening up the design a little let me just move these petals out of the way so i'm going to put a little bit of glue here oops and then over the seam of the last one and just hold that and there you can see that's much looser okay and the great thing is every flower that you make because if you're anything like me you'll start this and you'll go oh my gosh I love it I'm going to make more I'm gonna have a vase full of flowers um, and every single one that you make is going to be completely different and that is the wonderful thing about these flowers they are so so different each one of them even though you use the same technique every time and it would depend on the kind of paper that you use as well as so you can see here we're really building up a a cute little inside of our flower so I've as I said you you need five but I've made six so that's a spare one and that is also the spare one from the center I think I will literally just use five and I'm going to place that one there okay pop a little bit of hot glue and then straight over the seam where I put the last one I'm sorry if this goes out of shot a little bit, but I'm, <laughs> I'm more aware of the glue right now than I am of filming. <laughs> so there we are. So we've used now the smallest petals. And then we've used the um, next ones up. Now we're going to go for these ones, which we have pinched and curled. And you can see there they've kept their shape. Um, so with this one, if you just place it on, you can see... What that's going to look like so always make sure you're happy with where you're placing it and then I'm doing the glue left-handed because I haven't got my extension lead down here I think my son's borrowed it <laughs> so he can charge his phone and watch films at the same time <laughs> oh dear so there we are 
oh that's quite hot so I'm going to get my pencil and use my pencil instead so I don't burn myself the wonderful thing with this hot glue I don't know whether you can see these little pieces here um, I call them the cobwebs but you get a lot of these little cobwebs of glue um, coming off your off your work so it's good just to kind of peel those off and put those to one side so there we are you can see how this is building up so I'm going to continue placing these petals on and probably these ones and then I'll um, talk to you about the bigger petals okay <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
so you can see how beautifully this flower is gradually building up and hopefully you can see how I've overlapped each petal so if I'm going to start here where these two join I will actually place the next petal right in the center there and then on the next one I'll place it here and so forth so I'm literally overlapping let me show you so these are the last petals now to go on so I'm going to just place them there so you can see now the next one that I'm going to place is going to go just over these two last petals like that so that when you when you see it you can see that's the last outside petal and then the next one you've got just that small little bit of overlap and you can see this is ripped this is one of the ripped petals but it actually looks beautiful so let me let me glue these last petals on I'm hoping that now you're feeling quite relaxed and really very focused on just this repetitive movement of glue and then you look and then you place and then you have that pause, twist the flower and then you repeat, so glue, you look, where are you going to stick the next one? Place it down and pause. And I think repetition is very mindful. And I think that that is why craft is such a wonderful thing to do, because there's a lot of repetitive movements when you're creating um, art and craft. Now, because it's the last layer, you may find that you need to place a little bit more glue just to keep those last petals in place I have one last petal and it's going to go here and then you can see that the back is actually quite neat and tidy as well it looks nice um, but actually it doesn't matter if you if the back hasn't quite worked um, it's fine and remember if this is the first time you're making a paper flower and it doesn't work out perfectly it's fine it just takes practice okay I've made quite a few of these so mine generally come out okay even when I'm even when I'm demonstrating and talking and they will still turn out pretty beautifully and I'm actually very pleased with that one um it's lovely so let me take all the spider webs of glue off of here now the very last thing to finish your flower you can see that this one is actually if I take it out of here it's on a twig so it's just a normal twig and you can see that I've made a couple of small buds what I've done is I've just used um, the first two or three types of petals actually no it's just the first two and um made these buds actually there is yeah maybe I'll do that in another video there's another way you can make those but if you just um if you just make the center part like that that you can then make a couple of buds to go on I'm not going to do that now but what I have is a stick now I've, I've whittled this one slightly I do love a bit of um a whittling and I have some whittling knives so I've whittled this slightly I was going to use it for something different I was going to use it for some um stick weaving which is a really really lovely meditative activity to do which is a, maybe another video I feel another video coming on um but basically what you can do is you can take your flower and you can attach it to the stick now I'm just going to work out where I want this one um because I quite like that's gonna mm, it's not really the best stick but I think there right so what you do is you decide where you want your flower and then you squeeze a lot this is probably where you're going to use up the other half of the glue stick you remember at the beginning I said you probably need about one and a half glue sticks for um the flower and then the other half of the glue stick is where you where you attach it onto your twig so once you've put the glue you need to hold that in place for a few moments so while I'm holding that and waiting for it to dry um, if you're enjoying these videos and 
you're able to take part in some of the activities i would love to hear in the comment boxes below um, what you've been doing and how they've been helping you and also if you're enjoying them please subscribe i think the button's just down there um subscribe and like to my videos it's going to really really help me out um with my business if you do that it just kind of spreads the word and makes these kind of free activities more available to more people which is what i want that is my aim um so or oh, that's still not quite so i don't know how much glue i'm going to need to use on this flower it's not quite dry but you get the idea so hopefully that will stick let me just lay it down so that it can dry in its own time i might need to put another little bit of glue just around that let me just put that a bit more central so you can see but there you go that is your basic um way to make these beautiful beautiful flowers so i'm really hoping that you've enjoyed this and that you're going to be able to make some of these flowers um at home yourself obviously let me just let me just come up and oops see you properly so hopefully oh gosh i'm not good at technology um you will be able to incorporate some of your art and craft with going for a walk to find your stick and maybe a little bit of online shopping to get yourself one of these glue guns but it's it's my absolute pleasure to do these videos really hope you enjoy them and i look forward to the next one if you've got any suggestions for what you would like to learn please let me know in the comment box below and i can i can do that thank you bye